All right, this is TCAP uh, practice test question uh, for eighth grade, should I say, for question number 48. Next year, Travis will randomly assign, be randomly assigned to a gym class and an art class. Ms. Watson will teach 20% of the gym classes, and Mr. Canfield will teach 15% of the art classes next year. What is the probability that Travis will not be assigned to either of these teachers? So what we need to do is find out, first off, what the percentage of classes are taught by teachers other than Ms. Watson uh, or Mr. Canfield. So if Ms. Watson is 20%, uh, hopefully you know that the most percentage that you can have in terms of having one single unit is 100. So you do 100 minus 20, and you get 80%. There's an 80% chance this kid will not end up in a gym class taught by Ms. Watson. Now let's talk about an art class taught by Canfield. 100 minus 15, and I get 85%. Now... The glorious thing about this is that um, it's a, there's a very good chance he's not going to get either of these teachers. It's actually much more interesting to see what the chance that they are. But if they underline the word not in the sentence, it's probably pretty important. So don't be like foolish and then go ahead and type in, oh, I know how to do this. I get 20 and then I do 15 together and everything's all hunky-dory and great. Make sure you scout the problem before you... Uh, start working it. If you simply look for things like underlying words and uh, equations that are in these big gigantic boxes, you'll be okay and everything will look good in your life. Now, if I'm going to do some sort of multiplication here, I need to convert these percentages into a uh, decimal form, unless you have a percent button on the calculator, which would be super convenient, but very, very few of them actually do. So in order to do 80% into a decimal, I'm going to divide by the hundred percent and I get 0 0.8 and for 85 same thing 0 0.85 now when you have a probability question if it's this type of probability if I talking about one thing it's complicated if I talking about more than one thing it becomes many times more complex because not only do I know that he's got an 80 percent chance of not getting Ms. Watson to get Mr. Canfield, it changes the nature of things. So I'm not just making it more difficult by adding a factor of one. It's many times harder. So if probability becomes many times more complicated, it means I have to multiply those two, uh, those two decimals together. So I do 8.8 .8 times 0.85. And when I type that in, I get 0 0.68. And if you didn't know, to convert back to the percentage, I just multiply by 100 and I get 68%. So really, what you're trying to do here is make sure that A, you know how to convert from uh, decimals to percents and percents to decimals, and B, that you know when there's more than one event, you take the probability of each one and then multiply them together. The only hard part after that is making sure you don't do something ridiculous like multiply 20% by 15%, but that answer is not one of the choices, which means at least in this case, the people who made the TCAP were very nice. So probability, make two probabilities, whether they're fractions or not. Multiply them together if there's more than one event happening, which would be one class, two classes, and then you're good.